Placer a few weeks ago. Renel Lamotte has two silver medals from 2016 and 17. She won her semi-final. She looked really good before we headed off to the World Champs. Maybe struggled a tiny bit there. But the Frenchwoman looked good qualifying. Gemma Riki of Great Britain and Northern Ireland came fourth at the Olympic Games last year. Contracted glandular fever during the indoor season. And that has kind of halted her progress, held her back a little bit outdoors. But I do feel there's a number of women in this field that are just looking better and better with every week that goes by. And Keely Hodgkinson, not sure we can say the same, but her level's so high. And she's maintained that superbly well throughout this outdoor season. We saw Matt Hudson-Smith, Laura Muir managed to pick up medals across all three championships. That's the job of Keely Hodgkinson tonight. Her personal best, some two seconds better than everybody else. I feel like Keely Hodgkinson has the strength and speed to do anything in this field. Got very close to Athing Mo at the World Championships, just eight hundredths of the gold medal there. Was kind of blown away slightly by Kenya's Mervi Mora at the Commonwealth Games. Keely was frustrated with that performance. Just one more race to end on and high in the championship circuit. Great Britain and Northern Ireland do have a strong history of picking up medals in this event. I don't think we've ever had, had two on the podium. And I don't think Poland have had an individual medal. So Anna Vilgosh could be one to try and do that. Christina Herring led her semi-final. I think that was a tactic to ensure she was in this final. Herring does often go to the lead. She's so tall, running in a group can be uncomfortable for her. But... Keely Hodgkinson has had a lot of success indoors, just going to the front and holding it. She's managed that on the circuit and at a national championship level. Could Keely Hodgkinson just make this race a little bit simpler for herself by going to the lead? And no, it's Gemma Riki of Great Britain and Northern Ireland that's got out the hardest. Louise Shanahan fighting to give herself a good position. Keely Hodgkinson at the moment just caught up in the middle of the group. They come through the first 200, well under 30 seconds, so it is pretty quick. Christina Herring has got herself in a good position. When you're at your limit, you don't want to run any further than you have to. Renelle Lamotte, at the moment, of France, has swung wide. Keely Hodgkinson is running wide. She can afford to with that brilliant, fantastically fast personal best for the Olympic Games last year. But it is the tall German, Christina Herring, leading the field through, as she did in the semi-final. This is a fantastically strong run from Christina Herring. 58 seconds through the first lap. That's so sensible and it's so controlled. All eight women very much in contention here. This third 200, they've got to maintain their concentration. Brunel Lamotte looks like she's itching to kick. She'll be so conscious that Kiwi Hodgkinson is behind her. Jemmy Re Gemma Riki is on her inside. Are things going to get shaken up down the back straight? Christina Herring perhaps been forced into a kick, forced to protect that inside position. Keely Hodgkinson has gone super wide. She's got enough air that gap there to go to the inside. Keely Hodgkinson on the inside and her teammate Gemma Riki tracked her superbly well through that 50 metres. They're coming round with 150 metres to go. It's Keely Hodgkinson from Gemma Riki. Renelle Lamotte of France trying to get herself back on the podium. Here comes the strong pole, Vilgosh. Does she get herself among the medals? Keely Hodgkinson is striding away. Renelle Lamotte is powering through into a silver medal. It could be three silvers for the French athlete. Keely Hodgkinson takes the win. Renelle Lamotte second. Anna Vilgosh, a brilliant closing 100 metres. Laura Hoffman of Switzerland got a sneaky move on the inside. And Gemma Riki, it was almost a replay of the Olympic Games. She was in the medal position until the closing 80 metres and just faded. But she really put herself in it to try and run with Keely Hodgkinson. But Keely picking up a gold medal to go with her two silvers from the major championships. Hats off, that was a really well-controlled, tactically judged race from young Keely Hodgkinson. And that's a landmark victory as well for Great Britain and Northern Ireland, the 122nd. 122nd gold medal for Great Britain and Northern 